I had just finished um, going out and performing their evaluation, it's called a set, to see how they were doing. And they received a 90% set score after changing all their expectations just last November. It was exciting as the evaluator of this set to ask the kids because they were so excited to tell me. And so that's why they deserve this Bright Spot Award. Debbie has a ton of different things that she's having their faculty work on. They're sending postcards home. They're, they do their Principal 200 Club. And I was really impressed to see that even the fifth and sixth graders are so excited to be called down to be on the Principal 200 Club board because they've made it something really special there. Well, I think if you're going to duplicate what they're doing, I think it's just looking at your data like they are doing and saying how can we make a change for the better and when they looked at their data uh, the first quarter they had a hundred off office referrals and they wanted to lessen that number and so they put in these positive uh, expectations for the students and then uh, the second quarter uh, I just got their data back and they've cut that in half. We've been going around and looking at um, different models of this MTSS process in different schools and theirs really stood out. In particular, they had a form, that, a Google form that they used to track student data and interventions that was really impressive. Plus, they're just a great team to work with overall. So what they do is it's an intervention tracking sheet. So they get the background data on the students um, and then they have a, pay, they have a really easy checkbox that kind of looks at interventions in their school. Um, and then they have a kind of a t another page that's a timeline. It's also a Google Doc, so it's easily shared among their whole team. It's not like housed by one person; anyone can go and access it that needs access to it. I've heard other schools talk about it because I think what it does is it helps rather than be a conversation like, "Oh, we check in with this kid," and then kind of forget about it. It keeps them organized, focused, and then it gives them timelines to check back on things. They love to have fun, and they're real enjoyable to work with. Um, I would say that. One of the things is that they take their work seriously, but they don't take themselves too seriously. So they try and make it really fun and positive and inviting atmosphere, and that, that's, that's really good, and I think that's what benefits the kids the most.